Hi everybody and happy Monday. I um, hope those of you who started back with school today that it all um, it went well for you all. Um, I don't know if you all know this but I am an educator and I actually work at a year-round school so my students um, They've been back in person for the last few weeks, but they have not stopped going to school through all of this. So um, my heart is especially with all of you as you're preparing to go back to school. And those of you who start next week, I'll especially be thinking of you next week as well. So today I'm gonna to talk a little bit more about the parables from Disney, specifically Tangled, which Pastor Christie discussed this past Sunday. And I really wanted to talk about the scripture lesson from Romans, Romans 7, um, verses 15 through 25, and about how the Apostle Paul had a similar inner struggle between what he knows he should do versus what he wants to do. And we see that uh, Rapunzel, when she first, uh, spoiler alert, so if you haven't seen it, uh, maybe skip ahead, but Rapunzel, when she first runs away with Flynn Rider, she has a struggle and it's this whole scene where she's going, She's it's very dramatic and she's like, oh, I shouldn't have left. And then she's like, this is the best thing ever. I'm so free. And she's just going back and forth. And um, I love how, you know, Disney dramatizes things, but I thought it was really a, a good picture of we're thinking about that internal struggle that we all have and Rapunzel though she was very dramatized about it she was throwing herself on the ground and then running through the air jumping leaves twirling all around her with uh glee or like shouting joy and I um really liked how it's a different depiction than how we heard it in the text with Apostle Paul but in the Bible um the Apostle Paul describes a problem he has, and it sounds as if he's having a tug of war with himself, which if you could picture that, imagine someone pulling and then pulling you the other way, but this is, you're supposed to imagine that happening with just him. So I think when we're thinking of that scene with Rapunzel and Tangled, she's, she is having that tug of war with herself, but she's very dramatized with it. But in the text, he says, For I do not know what I'm doing, for I don't know what I desire, but what I hate, that I do. I think we can all relate to that a little bit sometimes, even with, you know, simple things in our life. You might have, you know, you might not know, for example, I'm just trying to think, like if you're going for a run or an exercise, you might just say, I don't know exactly where you desired to go, but what you hate, you would definitely know. For example, if there's a big hill coming up ahead or something like that. I think we probably have all felt that way at some sort. We usually know our right from wrong. You know, for example, when you're doing something that your parents would not like you to do, or you know, sometimes for me, I get cravings and want late night fast food and I know I shouldn't do it but it doesn't always stop me. But I know what is the right choice, which would be to not eat it. But perhaps we want to do something because our friends are doing it, or we think it's gonna make us feel good, or we're feeling pulled in one direction and pulled in another direction, and we get pulled sometimes into the wrong direction, the direction of what we should not do. We think of ourselves as being in a tug of war between good and bad choices. But the Apostle Paul tells us that we don't have power in ourselves to always make good choices, but we can look to God for strength. With God on our side, we will stay on the side of goodness and be winners. So something that um I want to challenge you all and Pastor Christy and I want to challenge you all is to think about what are some inner struggles that you find challenging? Where are some ways in your life that you're feeling pulled one way or pulled the other way? And how can you rationalize what decision to make? I, for instance, really enjoy making lists. 
So a lot of times I'll make a pros and cons list, put the things that are good about one decision or the things that are bad about another decision. I think talking to people who will always have your best interest at heart. So most likely your parents, well, they, they definitely will. But I mean, if you feel would feel comfortable talking to them about it or myself or Pastor Christy or another adult in your life, such as an aunt or an uncle or a childhood friend. Those are all people that will always have your best interest at heart. And the one person who will always be there and always be there to listen is God. So don't forget that when you're having that inner struggle to know that he is always there to listen.